Hello again. Okay, so now I'm back on the tracks again and it's time to make some videos now that I'm feeling motivated. So now I'm gonna talk about something that I love talking about which is again intermediate level. Another thing is intermediate with one course. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, an upper intermediate level with one course well that's a that's kind of a different story maybe if you kind of memorize the an entire uh, teach yourself for an entire um, an entire essay I would say both both of them uh, maybe you can consider yourself uh, at the very beginning of an upper intermediate level and if you know if you deal with that amount of words properly but I would say you need more. You need colloquialism, and you need uh, you need colloquialism, and you need slang. Very important slang and colloquialism to to be at an upper intermediate level. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna talk only about intermediate level. Uh, I'm not talking about ABCs because that is an alphabet. That's not a way of classifying languages. So ABC it's an alphabet. Um, I kind of got sick and tired of using these terms B1, B2, C1, so now let's talk about intermediate, which is uh, when you should say, when you can say that you speak a language, you are able to speak a language. Uh, at least you need to be low intermediate to, to speak a language. So, intermediate with one course. Okay, so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you guys some, some examples. One of the languages that I want to learn in the future, I don't know exactly when will I be able to do it, but one of the languages that I want to learn in the future is Zulu. I only intend to use Teach Yourself Zulu and um, a phrasebook, a Collins phrasebook that I need to, to buy um, uh, for the iPad. And I believe that's it, that's all I will use. And another language will be Kiosa Shos, I never know how to say that. I don't know how to say the name of the of that language because it starts with a click, and I will only use teach yourself that thing, kiosa, kiosa, whatsoever, um, and then uh, how can I get intermediate um, using only one course? Well, I know how can how can we get intermediate using only one course? Well, those courses are developed for you to reach an intermediate level. Sometimes they kind of lie to you, they say that you will have an upper intermediate level, but you will only have that upper intermediate level if you memorize every goddamn thing in the, in the book. So the, the most likely thing to happen is to reach an intermediate level. And that intermediate level, first of all, uh, make sure you study the course properly. So make sure you study that, that course properly. So start with the dialogues and go through the dialogues over and over and over again then study grammar, uh, study it properly uh, you can memorize some, some examples they give you there or, or just try to understand them uh, I don't make exercises, I'm not telling you not to do the same but I'm not, I don't make exercises I prefer to go through the old deal over and over again to consolidate knowledge, that knowledge and that's what you have to do, because once you finish the course, you're at, at its most, you're low intermediate. Or what I like calling the threshold, the, well, they, they, call low in, they call intermediate, low intermediate, they call it threshold, I believe. But I like to call threshold to uh, that limit between a, uh, a high beginner and, and low intermediate. Uh, that's what's happening to me with some languages now and I will give the best example I believe I have which is Catalan I can understand quite a lot of Catalan uh, even even spoken and written but when it comes to speaking I lack in grammar um, I lack in vocabulary uh, I can guess some vocabulary because uh, it's not a difficult language for me I can guess some vocabulary but I'm at that at death threshold yet so, uh, how do we get off this threshold? Revising things again. So, by the time you finish the course, uh, I would advise you guys to revise, first of all, all the dialogues. First of all, all the dialogues. So, you finish studying everything properly, get back to, to the beginning again, and start revising all the dialogues. And then, by the time you, you, you revise all the dialogues, uh, you should revise all the grammar. 
for instance, all of the grammar. Or if you can get your things on the grammar, it would be even better. A good grammar, it would be even better. So, that's what I intend to do, reach an intermediate level in languages like those languages I just mentioned, and other languages too. Uh, an example I can give you guys is Czech. Uh, I'm a very beginner in Czech, I got it on hold now, but I only have Teach Yourself Czech. I only have Teach Yourself Czech. And um, I couldn't find, I bought that book, I bought that book. And I couldn't find on, on PDF, beginner's check, nor colloquial check, uh, and nor even SML. Uh, if you guys know where I can find it, I would appreciate it. But I only have the, what, that course. So, uh, I will study with that course. The thing is, I believe I will study first all the dialogues. I will do in a different approach. I will do a different approach. I will do, I will study first the dialogues and then the, the old deal. Because uh, I decided to do that because it's Slavic languages and Slavic languages are no joke. So maybe it's better if I learn vocabulary, expressions, then try to, to understand grammar from out of the context. I believe it's better if I do it. At least it's what I believe. I believe it's better this way. So that's what I intend to do. And other languages. Uh, there are several languages that I intend to use two or three courses. Uh, talking about, for instance, uh, one of one language that I'm studying now, Latvian. So, along this year, I will only use Teach Yourself Latvian. I'm only on Chapter 4. Um, I, I got restarted on that, that same chapter uh, very recently. Uh, and then, uh, what, I, what do I intend to do? Pretty much the same that I, that I talked about the, those African languages. Uh, the same thing. By the time I finish uh, studying everything, I will revise the first uh, four chapters because I haven't studied grammar from the first four chapters or for three chapters and the half, more like it. And I will revise the dialogues and everything. And then uh, along the rest of the year, of course, I won't be doing this uh, every day, no, not even every week. But what will I do is, is plain simple, revise the dialogues. Only next year do I intend to, to use colloquial. Uh, only next year do I intend to use colloquial uh, Latvian. And another language, Estonian. Now I got it on hold, but I'm using Teach Yourself. Uh, I know I advised you guys to use it at the same time, but now I changed my mind about that. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, maybe it's not, uh, maybe it's better this way. So, same deal here. I'm using Teach Yourself Estonian. And that's what I will do. By the time I get back to Estonian, I will use it until the end. Then I will revise the, the previous chapters I've already studied. And then um, the same deal here again. Go Here it goes again. Study the old dialogues. And only next year do I intend to use colloquial Latvian. Uh, Latvian, Estonian. And that's pretty much like it. That's pretty much like it. So, can we be intermediate uh, using only one course? And yes, we can. And one more example for you guys. Vietnamese. I'm, I'm studying with Teach Yourself, and by the time I finish studying with Teach Yourself, I will revise the entire dialogues. Only next year will I use colloquial uh, Vietnamese. And I believe I can, I can reach the at least a low intermediate level using only one course. So, uh, of course, that in, in order for you to be real intermediate, you need to revise, then you need another process. You need to, to revise the whole deal again. Uh, or you just need to, to be making this from time to time. So, that's it. I believe we can be intermediate using one course, but you, we have to know how to use it properly. See you guys then.